Coming from uh, Missouri, Maryland, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Gentlemen's recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Again and again, we hear a common refrain when a mass shooting happens. A young man, typically under the age of 21, legally purchases a semi-automatic rifle and murders innocent people. We saw this in Uvalde, we saw this in Buffalo, we saw this in Indianapolis in 2021 and in Parkland in 2019. In fact, six of the nine deadliest mass shootings since 2018 were by young men who should never have been allowed to purchase these weapons in the first place. Right now, you must be 21 in this country to buy a handgun, but only need to be 18 years old to buy a semi-automatic rifle capable of committing unspeakable tragedies. I served in the military, I trained with these weapons, I know what they can do. These weapons of war have no place in our neighborhoods, let alone in the hands of an untrained 18-year-old boy. The answer is simple. Raise the age needed to purchase these weapons to 21 in line with the age to purchase handguns. We have bipartisan support for this. Democrats, Republicans, gun safety advocates, law-abiding citizens, and responsible gun owners, teachers, and veterans, because it's common sense. Shooting after shooting, we ask ourselves, what more could we have done? We debate whether one action could have saved the lives of those children, those mothers, fathers, grandmothers, and neighbors. I'm done with that. It's time for action. Raising the age to buy these weapons won't solve our nation's gun violence epidemic overnight. But if we can make it just a little harder for someone to get their hands on these deadly weapons, if we can save just one life or one community from this carnage and grief, it'll be worth it. I urge my colleagues to support this legislation, raise the age, to buy these deadly weapons, enough is enough. Thank you, and I yield back.